you did a great job and you did a great job dressing too. So love oh, the thank you. I wanted to rock a tie because I'm a fancy business person director now. Very much. Yes. <laughs> so it's time to much. whip out the tie. Like Paul Feig type, you know? Oh, exactly. That's uh, there totally you go. was awesome. going for Paul Feig. <laughs> There's one option, but the operation is risky. So when are you having the surgery? I don't know. How do I tell my daughter? I'm kind of it for her. So how are you? Hey, it's Jim Alexander with Real Talker. It's, it's on the side. Hannah, good to see you. Last time I think I talked to you for uh, Mark, Mary, and other people, you were in a living room or a kitchen. So very different yes. now. You're in the skies. Apparently I'm in the skies. Here I'm on a green screen, but it's still different. <laughs> I love your sign, though, the Real Talker sign. That's great. Thank you. It's holding up by some Velcro, so hopefully it stays through. <laughs> you know, I would never know it. It looks sturdy. Yeah. Secrets, you know, and speaking <laughs> of secrets, I'm watching this movie and I'm thinking to myself so many ways like, oh, you could have gone in so many different directions here. And I was curious to ask you right away, did you ever think about holding off revealing uh, the cancer diagnosis to the audience, like maybe later on in a movie, middle way, or did you always want it to introduce it early on so we kind of as an audience maybe get a custom or condition to what's going on here versus maybe being surprised later. I wonder if you ever went through your mind uh, when you initially started it. Definitely. We had a lot of conversations about the ways we could unfold information, but ultimately there's quite a few surprises that come later in the movie and it feels like it would be uh, a disservice to, to those surprises later. We weren't forthright from the beginning. Uh, also, it's just uh it needing to be inside the characters' heads. This is really a character-driven piece uh, about their relationship. So if he was withholding information from Wally, but also the audience, it feels like um, we wouldn't be let in enough. Mm -hmm. And same thing kind of for the ending. Did you have multiple versions or were you set kind of from early on that you wanted the story to go a certain way and end a certain way? This was the ending that we were all... Um, very much in favor of. Uh, okay. It's a bold ending and it's it's jarring and it's shocking, but uh, I think it really drives home the message that this is not just a story of a father teaching his daughter about life. It's a story about a daughter teaching her father too. Mm -hmm. Did you ever, I mean, making a movie like this, do you ever put yourself, I, I, your mind tends to wonder, I, I, I would guess too, as an audience member watching, like, what would you do in a situation? Right. Um, what, what did you think that like, you personally, did you see yourself veering off sometimes thinking like, oh, wow, what would I do if I was in this situation? Because it's so, I mean, jarring to, to get such short time and so much life to life. What would you do in a sense or have you thought what you would do? Yeah, definitely. I mean, I think uh, I completely understand the decisions made by the characters, even if it's not something I would necessarily do. I understood the reasoning behind it. I understand the reasoning of not wanting to take a risk and potentially dying in a week versus having one year left with your daughter. I understand not wanting to take that that risk uh, and feeling like it would be selfish too. So even if it's not necessarily what I would choose, I understood it and I think that's what's most important. I, I understand them. And I think that's always more important than any kind of likability is relatability and understandability. You did a great job and you did a great job dressing too. So love oh, thank you. I wanted to rock a tie because I'm a fancy business person director now. Very much. Yes. <laughs> so it's time to much. whip out the tie. Like Paul Feig type, you know? Oh, exactly. That's uh, totally go. what I was awesome. going for. Paul Feig. <laughs> <laughs> awesome job, Hannah. I can't wait for the next one. You're on a roll. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.